my screen. So thank you very much for joining me for my very first webinar as an OMG Network team member. We are up to a number of interesting things here at OMG, and today our CTO Kasim and I are here to discuss one that is particularly exciting to us, Central Bank Digital Currency, or CBDC. So today's webinar is entitled, Why Blockchain for Central Bank Digital Currency? And while that is a central question, it is actually only one of three primary questions we'll be answering today. First, we'll be answering the question of why CBDC? There are many use cases for blockchain. There are also many ways to provide central bank-backed currency. So why did we, as a blockchain tech provider, feel compelled to support the notion of CBDC? Second, there are also many technology platforms that could support a CBDC. Digital currency Digital currency essentially flows between financial institutions today. So why do we believe blockchain is the right answer for a CBDC system? And third, of the many blockchain networks, why are we assured that Plasma technology is best suited to power the future of CBDC systems? We'll also sneak in a bonus section on why we should be focusing on CBDC now to be followed by our Q&A. So why CBDC? I want to start with the OMG network mission. Now, those of you familiar with us have probably heard this more than a few times, but just to refresh your memory. At OMG network, we believe that having access to financial services can create economic opportunities and improve lives. We see a world where anyone with a mobile phone and access to the internet is able to store, send, and exchange any type of digital value. Now let's think about CBDC. While its definition is still sometimes up for debate, let's start with this one. A central bank liability, denominated in the country's monetary unit, such as dollar, baht, yen, which is used for exchange or storage of value. It exists digitally and is issued by a country's central bank and used for monetary policy. Now, there are typically two types of CBDC discussed. These are wholesale and retail. Wholesale is essentially private and focuses on institutions that already hold a central bank account. Today, we'll be discussing retail CBDC, which will provide digital currency to the public. We decided to invest in exploring a retail CBDC platform because we believe it capable of significantly moving the world toward one in which everyone will have access to, and here's where we quote our own mission, financial services that can create economic opportunities and improve lives. More specifically, we believe there are five areas that can be positively impacted by implementing CBDC. First is monetary policy. In enabling the implementation of fast and cost-effective monetary policy, CBDC will promote sustainable economic growth. Second is transparency and insight. With increased insight and analysis of macroeconomic monetary flows, the central bank can be proactive instead of reactive. Third is financial inclusion. In providing equal access to financial services for individuals and businesses alike, they can begin to invest, accumulate wealth, and attain financial security. Fourth is innovative services. In integrating the traditional and fintech world, everyone can gain access to new, and diverse financial services while ensuring consumer protection. Finally, advanced payments. By enabling a multitude of cheap, fast digital payments, domestic and cross-border transfer of value will be affordable and accessible to all. And for each of these reasons, we're proud to be part of central bank discussions as they examine the technology platforms available to enable this vision. <music>